Now you guys might be wondering how we're going to be snow foaming the car, how we're going to be rinsing it off, how we're going to be doing everything with just a hose. And that's why I got this right here. So that right there is a Karcher K3 high power pressure washer. Now this right here is what's going to be making all of this possible and making sure that we get the most perfect wash every single time we do this. The Karcher K3 is just high enough power, it also has detachable no nozzles or whatever they're called which will allow for the snow foam and when I got this snow foam gun from Cody it actually came with a Karcher attachment as well. So this should attach straight up to the new machine. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to unpack the Karcher and I'm going to set it up right beside this big block of thing there and we're going to be starting to set up all the products on there. I'm probably going to set up the products that I use most of the time in the middle shelf around about here and then I can have like some products that are like interior products products and then maybe something up there I might even put some car parts on this I didn't realize how big this was so yeah let's set this up let's put it down right there So it's pretty simple, this right here has an awesome little attachment. This right here is obviously a little nozzle gun thing. Um, press it straight in and twist it, and it just locks straight into place. Now that should be the exact same for the snow foam. What we do, put it in this way, actually not this way. In there, boom, and that's your snow foam gun. So that's gonna be really cool. So this right here is just a massive big box of stuff that I've been like collecting over you know, probably two years that I've been detailing. Um, yeah, I got stuff like uh, Bowden's Lazy Wax, so it's probably like a, that's more Lazy Wax. I got Vinyl Care, uh, here's the leather protector, but it's all Armour All stuff and it's disgusting and cheap and when I thought Armour All was good. So yeah, uh, a lot of this stuff's probably got to go on that shelf there. Um, it's looking all right so far, but uh, yeah. What's really going to put the price up on this setup right is definitely going to be that pressure washer. That's uh, that's not going to look good for our total. So that pressure washer there, I got there for $2.99. So we're going to quickly add that to the thing. Boom. $618. Now as I said before guys, this little setup right here can set you back a fair bit if you really want it to. As I said, I really went out on this and I really wanted to make it perfect and get all the products that is going to be best for me, best for my car. So it's best to talk to your detailer or someone that knows a lot about your paint. Um, obviously it's gonna be a lot different for white cars, gonna be different for black cars, cars with soft paint like Mustangs. I reckon if you really did budget this down and you went with like a cheaper Karcher unit and you went with, you know, a lot cheaper products and without the stand as well, you could definitely get this whole setup here down to about $500. And please keep in mind that I didn't try and do any bargaining on any of this. This is the full price I paid for everything except for the Meguiar's cleaner. That's that's pretty much it. So I've just set my toolbox right up beside it and I am so happy with how that came out. I use this little bucket down here uh, just as like a little bin where I can put stuff um, like dirty rags and stuff. This right here, full of all my tools that I have. I did purchase a fair few little tools. Sorry, they're really unorganized at the moment. Um, yeah, all very unorganized. I'm gonna definitely get to that later. This right here is like my prized possession now because I can finally start detailing at home. So the other thing I forgot to put into this was the fact that you need also an extension cable and you'll also need a hose. Um, both of those you can probably pick up from Kmart for a really cheap price. Now as much as I would really like to, I didn't include the interior in this either. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, especially with my car. All I would do is use a Bowden's Vinyl Care and then also maybe like if it was really bad, a Meguiar's interior detailer and also just a household vacuum cleaner. Apart from that, there's nothing else really I use. If you really wanted to go all out, you could probably go with like a, uh, like, you know, a carpet shampoo or anything like that, but that's, yeah, I just go to Cody for all that sort of stuff. So yes, that's the whole setup done. 
and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So my new place is a fairly big car spot, but please remember I do have to share it with my other car as well and my roommate right beside it. So whenever I want to wash my car now, I do have to like sort of reverse it out into here. But if you are caught in a situation where you do have a single car park, something very much like this, you can still do it in there. And also if you really wanted to, you could pull your car out into something like this right here and just detail it here. And then if anyone comes out and needs to move your car out the way, you simply just move it for them and that's no big issue. So I understand that a lot of apartment buildings don't have very good access around the cars, especially if you live in the city. Your car parks may be horribly tight, but if you really want to make something work, you do, you know, for the first time when I was detailing, I actually used to pull my car out of like a single spot and detail it right in the middle. And then people would like come downstairs and look at you and do stuff. And if they needed to move their car, you honestly just do it for them. Um, but now with vlogging, I kind of like gathered my confidence enough to sort of do all that. And uh, yeah, that's now what we do. Everyone has to go through this stage. Everyone moves out of home. And I understand that sometimes it isn't the easiest to do the stuff that you really want to do. And sometimes, you know, when I was upstairs, just came home from work, the car was filthy. All I really wanted to do was just wash it, clear my head, have a beer. But that was just something I couldn't do. And now I am just so happy that I'm able to not drive 15 minutes up the road and detail it for 45 minutes and then quickly get up Cody's hair and come back and still have water spots all over it. I can just detail it here, take my time, spend four hours if I want to, making sure this thing is beautiful. So yeah, I'm really happy. I think one of the greatest things about this setup right here is the fact that even if you are in a very, very tight small car park in the city, you should have more than enough room to actually put all that down the back of where you park your car. You could have it sitting down the very back, uh, so like when you reverse up to it, it's all sitting there. You could have it down the side, you could have anything. Even though it's going to be really tight, it is such a small little compact unit you could do. And uh, yeah, I'm actually quite proud of it. I never thought I actually have a detailing equipment that looked good and actually on show like that. Now one thing I am a little bit worried about is the fact that because not only I live with myself, I live with about, let's say 50 people all sharing the same garage. We do have an issue at the moment that people may come and may take this stuff. Um, I've had it happen to a lot of different apartments before and there's no real way I could get around it unless I cart this thing up upstairs every single time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to buy a couple of sheets and I'm probably just going to put it over that and I'm also going to park my car sort of as close as I can to it so that way hopefully people don't really want to sort of scoop down beside my car and pick up stuff and use it for their own car. As I said, I'm going to put sheets over it uh, whenever I'm not using it and uh, none of you guys know my address so that's all good. But yeah, that's how it ended up. Very stoked, very stoked. So I won't put a detailing video in this one here. It'll actually be my next video that I will upload. So if you guys are keen for that video, remember to stick around two more days time. I will quickly show you what I normally do to take care of this beautiful coated beast. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. I hope you all enjoyed. Peace out.